Hey there, TRW crew. Matt Vassallo here with the RhinestoneWorld.com, and I got an awesome tutorial video for you here today. So, I'm going to show you how to create a pretty awesome looking design that can be done for a t shirt or a vinyl car decal or whatever you want in the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software and how to create that with your Silhouette Cameo. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create this design. It's a pretty cool looking design, and we're calling it the Vector Intersect, where you take an object like like this for example a mascot with this wolf or a hockey player or a cross or anything you want and you intersect it into some wording and then create more of an outline or a contour around it so the shirt or the window or whatever shows through so we showed you and we already created a video on our YouTube channel on how easy it is to do something like this in our software the TRW stone wizard and Corel draw but we also want to show all you awesome Silhouette Cameo users and Designer Edition users how easy it is to create it in this software as well. So we do sell the Designer Edition software, so of course we want to support the Designer Edition software as well. So I'm going to show you how easy this is, but if you do have any questions on Designer Edition, you can visit our YouTube channel, The Rhinestone World, and we have a bunch of videos already created on the Designer Edition as well. But this is a an image and a design that has been posted a lot on one of our Facebook pages, Crafting with Rhinestones and Vinyl, and the Rhinestone World Facebook page. And we've had a lot of customers that ask, hey, can I do this in Designer Edition? So I said, hey, why not? Let's find out how they can do it in Designer Edition, because if we can teach them how this design can be done, it's going to help their business, help them sell some decals and shirts, which in turn helps the Rhinestone world as well. So let's get started here. So I just got our text here, and I'm going to go capital letters, and I'm just going to go wolves real quick. So I just typed out the word wolves. I'm going to come up here to my text style and I'm going to do an impact font. So I just typed in IMP and hit enter. Let's go ahead and enlarge this design a little bit here. And I want to tighten up my spacing. So anytime you're doing a design like this, you want that spacing in the letters to be as tight as possible. So right over here, character spacing, you can see we can just drag this back and forth. I'm going to put it right about there where they're not overlapping and that looks great. So now I'm going to go control C and control V as in Victor. And that just duplicated my design real quick. Nice little shortcut here in designer edition. I'm going to double click and highlight and we're going to type out my favorite baseball. So let's go ahead and line baseball up here perfectly. I'm going to drag this handlebar right here, just drag it over so it's even, and I got Wolves Baseball, okay? So that's looking good right there. Let's go ahead and fill these. So I click on one, shift click on the other. I have them both selected, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and group them together real quick. So now they're grouped, so anytime I move them around, they're basically a single object there. And let's go to our fill tool here in the designer edition. And let's just turn that to a, what do you think, a black fill? There we go. And let's get rid of our actual red outline. So there we go. Wolves baseball looking beautiful, right? Now we're going to grab our wolf head right here. I'm going to right click on the wolf head and I'm going to bring it to the front. I want it in the front of the design. So I just right clicked and went bring, bring forward or bring all the way to the front. So we got our design here. Let's go ahead and enlarge it a little bit. Now what I'm going to do with the wolf head right here, I'm going to create a contour. So to create that contour, I'm just going to come up here to my offset or contours in the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. It's called offset right here. Let's click on that and I'm going to do an offset of 0 0.100 and hit apply. So you can see there's a little red line there, and I want to make sure I can see that good. So I'm just going to change that to green. And again, get rid of my red outline. So you can see what we're working with here. Everything's looking nice. Now what our goal is, is to knock out the green right there, make the purple form the letters, so we can get a pretty cool looking design, but it's still easy to read Wolves Baseball. You can see this isn't very easy to read right now. We want to make it very easy to read, but still have that wolf kind of in the letters, so it looks awesome for that school to make car decals or shirts. So check out how we're going to do this. I'm going to click on the Wolves Baseball here, okay? Now with the Wolves Baseball, I'm going to go to Replicate. 
I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to click on my Wolves Baseball, same position, one, and hit Replicate. So basically, all that did was duplicate the Wolves Baseball right on top of each other. Okay. Now I'm going to click on my Purple Shift Click to the Wolves Baseball. So you can see I have just the Purple and the Wolves Baseball selected. Come up here to my Modify, and I'm going to hit Crop. And see what it did there so it cropped it out but actually I'm gonna go back a step before I do that just to make it easier in the long run I'm gonna change the color of Wolves Baseball to blue and I'll show you why I did that so click on purple shift click to Wolves Baseball modify and crop and now you can see it's a different color click on the green shift click to Wolves Baseball and hit subtract and it subtracted that green out so now I have my green and blue, and this design is completely done. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Pretty cool looking design. So now, when we're ready to go ahead and cut this design, we head over to our cut settings here. We go to advanced, and we can cut by fill color. So if we want to cut just the black, there's cutting just the black right there. If we want to cut just the blue, there's cutting just the blue. How easy is that? So let us know what you think of these tutorial videos. Let us know if you want more tutorial videos on the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. Very powerful software. You can do a lot of things in the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. Very, very cool looking design like this. You can do it with a hockey player, a cross. Like I was saying, any wording you want, very easily do something that's going to look awesome for your customers and they're going to love. So again, please comment below. Let us know what you think of this tutorial video video if you liked it if it helped you go ahead and click that like button right below and our website is right below but make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel we have over 900 tutorial videos for all of you to help your business out but at any time if you do have any questions make sure to give us a call the number is 941-755-1696 this is matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys all have a great day